Most educators are familiar with Bloom's taxonomy, a model that classifies different levels of human cognition in thinking, learning, and understanding. As a teacher, you've likely used this taxonomy to guide the development of curriculum, assessments, and instructional strategies. But how is this model affected in an age of digital technology, and how might it influence your instructional design? Let's take a step back. Bloom's taxonomy was created in the 1950s by educational psychologist Benjamin Bloom and his colleagues. The three lower levels, knowledge, comprehension, and application, are more basic levels of cognition, also called lower order thinking skills. This would include concrete thinking, memorization, and understanding. The three upper levels, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, referred to as higher order thinking skills, include abstract, critical, metacognitive, and creative thinking. Some have likened the model to a mountain or a stairway, where teachers set learning objectives and design learning experiences to guide students to higher levels of thinking. The taxonomy has become an important model for structuring students' learning processes. In the 1990s, Bloom's taxonomy was updated by a group led by David Crathwall, one of the original authors, and Lauren Anderson, a former student of Bloom's. To make the model relevant to 21st century learning, one of their main changes was updating the nouns associated with each level to action-oriented verbs. This differentiation positions thinking as an action-based process rather than one of passive acquisition. For example, knowledge was replaced with remember, analysis was changed to analyze, and so on. They also reordered the last two steps. Evaluation, which was previously at the top, was moved down, and creating, formerly synthesis, was moved to the top. With this framing, educators have several different verbs, questions, and instructional strategies associated with each level. In recent years, there have been many iterations and metaphors for Bloom's taxonomy, including an orange, where the six levels are distributed more equally, moving cogs, representing an interworking system in which creation is dependent upon all of the other aspects, or a flipped pyramid illustrating an emphasis on higher order thinking skills. But in thinking about how technology affects this model, consider it as Bloom's digital taxonomy. This updated version aims to expand upon the skills associated with each level as technology becomes a more ingrained and essential part of learning. For instance, some propose that new action verbs can be applied within each level. Let's take a look at creating, in which learners are designing, inventing, and constructing a piece of work that shows what they know. One could add new digital verbs to creating, like blog, remix, or program. These verbs refer to possible learning activities that incorporate digital technologies in which students are creating. Adding digital verbs to the taxonomy also promotes 21st century skills like communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. Others have taken the six levels of the taxonomy and aligned them with technology tools that help foster each level. For example, as a teacher, you can think about how to integrate apps and websites that help students remember content, like flashcards or drill and practice tools. There are tools that help students analyze and make sense of content, like reading charts, graphs, or mind maps. Or, you can think about what tools support student creation, like producing, podcasting, blogging, coding, editing, and more. With these examples, the focus should not necessarily be on the tools themselves, but on how the tools can be vehicles in transforming student thinking at different levels. So, as you weave technology into your teaching, ask yourself, how can the tools you use support different cognitive levels? Which tools help you address lower order thinking skills? And which can help challenge students' higher order thinking skills? Consider how Bloom's digital taxonomy can help you identify ways to design technology-rich learning experiences for your students.